All right, we're going to go pretty quickly here. Here's how to data bind a text box. Uh, I'm going to go pretty quickly here, so I'm going to drop a text box here, another one here, and let's get a button, which is this is very similar to what I sent you in the in email. I'm going to bind this text box to a data field, so I'm going to go down here to data, application settings, property bindings. Um, text the text is what I want to assign so I'm gonna say new and we're gonna say uh, uh, data bound text right and I'm gonna say okay okay and notice that there's a little indicator here that tells me and you'll notice underneath it says value is bound to application settings database test right and then I'll go to my button click event and I'll say text um, me dot text box two dot text is equal to my dot settings dot um, uh, database text which is the bound uh, item that I just created so if I run this uh, put a number in here say 200 and click that and so I'll get the 200 there it's copying it from there to there but I'm not putting I'm not saying copy it I'm saying get it from the data bound information all right all right so I'm gonna close this I'm gonna say project I'm gonna build this and I'm gonna say file I'm gonna save the I'm gonna save the project as a test um, test um, data bound yeah I, I do that all the time and I'm gonna say save this project okay um, if I did this correctly uh, um, just hit uh, just build this again just to make sure and I'm going to close this project out. I'm going to open Visual Studio back up again. I've got my test data bound VV project. And then I'm going to hit run. And for some reason, it did not keep my value 200. It should have kept it. Let me close this again. Open it again. And run it again. and there now I don't know why it does that sometimes for some reason on the first attempt it doesn't remember it and then when you open it again but I promise you if you publish it it will remember that value forever okay and this is a way of creating a sort of like I say mini database where it can remember a value forever so if I change this to say 400 okay um, build File, save all, I'll close it, and I'll open it back up again. And play and see it remembers the last value that I put in that text box. And that value will stay in the memory or in the program forever. You can also see that here in the Solution Explorer. <laughs> can't remember which icon it is um, let me I'm going to click on my project here and I'm gonna move this out of the way and settings and you'll see that let me close this so you can see how this works um, you can also just do it here if you wanted to you could create it here but I find it easier to just do in the properties box of the text boxes so you don't get confused but here's the name DB text the type um, I, I, I just made it a string um, I didn't change it. That's the default value, but I can make it, you know, whatever I want. Boolean, integer, um, and scope is user, uh, not application. I don't really know why, but that's the way it's done. All right, and that's how you data bind a text box to a value, rather than hard coding it in here somewhere. Talk to you later.